bottles up. Yo, nothing spectacular. Be greed. Yeah. It's... So, what? Yeah. Yeah, let's dump this. Let's check out these. And I guess we can focus on these. Oh, I mean, I don't want to completely abandon it, but I I just think like we should okay um, play a little bit uh, demon headlock, and uh, the reason for that is uh, because um, I dreamed about the demon headlock, so now we have to play it. Um, yeah, uh, not much to be said. I mean, you see, we dropped in ranks. The reason for that was uh, before because we underperformed with Druid. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, the thing is I took a look and I actually have to say the matchups are not what we expected. L last three days I see no shamans, I see no hunter. And if I see no shamans, I see no hunter. Well, what do you think we should play? Yes, exactly. We should play this. Um, so if this is Tempo Mage, I would really like to keep this Watcher 1000% of the time. On the other hand, if this is Freeze Mage, I would hate to keep the Watcher. Actually, I don't even know about that. Do I really hate it? Actually, I think we can even keep it against Freeze Mage. So I would like to keep it. And But if we keep this against Freeze Mage, we should also keep this, because otherwise it doesn't make sense. And against Tempo Mage, it's also okay to keep this. But I would like to keep this in case it's Freeze Mage, otherwise it's so bad. So... Yeah, against Tempo Mage we want to keep this until Mirror and Titties come up, but like, yeah. So, hmm. Void Caller, that makes it interesting. So then we should tap into Con Void Caller, I think. Yeah, my, my initial plan was a little bit different. My initial plan was, okay, no, but in this case we don't. Like, we could drop this now, but if this is Entity, that's like the worst thing ever. And, um, yeah. By tapping, we can still retain the options. So let's see. Pink looks like free smash, to be honest. We should not go below 23. So, um, so we have two options here. Option number one, we really believe it's Freeze Mage. Then we play, um, then we play this now. Next time we take damage. Then we play this. We take damage again. Uh, that cannot be right. So we can't do this here. And how we play it then is we go. This will cost five mana, and the next time we tap into something like we attack. And if it's Tempo Mage, it's if it's Tempo Mage, this is the uh, the winning play. Like it wins immediately if it's Tempo Mage, and if it's Freeze Mage. Um, if it's freeze mage, then we have to check out. Like, so what I'm saying is, well, it is of course freeze mage, so we should not tap any longer, right? Mm. Why is it like this? <sighs> I guess we have also a lot of heal in there. My gun is heal of seven to eight. Let's say heal of at least 7. Double heal board heal 16, 23. So we have one heal, so we can probably just tap. So what I'm saying is, we tap, we tap, and we deploy this. We can, we can, we can. We don't need to. We can. Against Tempo Mage, this wins immediately. That's the thing. Against Freeze Mage, this is better because it deals two more damage every turn. Oh. That's how it looks. That's how it looks. But this is not a completely dead card against Freeze Mage either, because we can taunt it up and then we never have to attack his minions again. So it's kind of acceptable. We are already at 20, as you can see. Hmm.
but tapping should increase the expected value. Yeah, we could have thought that it's freeze mage, so perhaps you should have just played some fury. Yeah. Just to increase the damage output a little bit. And if he would have played the Sumptuary Protector, we could now clear that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we are Dennis rank. Let's play a little bit quicker. Uh, this sucks anyway. It's like, uh, we are super Dennis rank. Like, uh, uh, we can just uh, just proceed playing, uh, uh, like, just, just not thinking. We can just play until we reach a better rank. Uh, with the MMR we got like what what uh, whom are we kidding here like uh, it should be marginal like what ancient watcher uh, this guy pff, like yeah it's super marginal so I feel like eight we could have tapped I don't know whether we should tap um, tapping cost life could have tapped if we tap we get to the moon so probably tap is not bad tapping tapping would have not been bad okay so what is this if you would have tapped, we could have now played both Moldens, but I mean, in all seriousness, um, we won't be able to play more than one Molden anyway, so, uh, Mon, I mean, like, he will freeze anyway, so, um, he will freeze anyways, right? Ah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, but he will definitely freeze if he also plays some Fury, so, perhaps we should just, yeah. So now he definitely freezes. Um, I'm not sure about like the tapped stuff. Like I think perhaps we should even ah I don't know. But yeah, he needs to freeze every turn, and uh, um, we can also play healbots and stuff. So probably yeah. And in the doomsayer slowed us down or what? Yeah, sure. Um, if you would have played the taunt guy, what would have happened? If it would have been tempo mage, we would have gave him the taunt guy, like this guy. But I also have to say, the thing is, if if he would have played Doomsday anyways and we didn't have Dark Bomb, like, uh, how would he have liked to play it? I mean, like, uh, do we really want to Hellfire? No, Hellfire did 3 damage to us, so I guess Hellfire is even worse also clearing this um, collateral. So, yeah, it would have not been advisable anyways. So we really needed to draw this Dark Bomb in order to make it good. So, it's okay. I really didn't freeze now, yeah. Ah oh, yeah, we also play Kazan Mystic by the way, yeah. So um So what was that? If he doesn't freeze this is like thirteen damage. Um But how much burn? Like usually he cannot really burn, right? So it's like uh, should we play the molten giant? Can he freeze and doomsayer? Can he do that? Uh, well, I, I guess he can. <laughs> I mean, I guess he can. Why should he not be able to do that? So, um, you probably want to steal it the turn where we. Uh, how much damage can he deal? 3, 6, 7, 14. No. Perhaps we should have increased the damage by 2. So, what is about the second Doomsayer? Unlikely, right? Uh, but if. 11, 13, a 13 damage should be enough threat. Yeah. We could have perhaps played this to increase the damage by two, but like 13 damage, guys. Every turn 13, it's like. We also have to check out to set up the lethal. So we should have probably played Defender of Argus, that would have been good, but yeah. Um, a defender of Argus would have been good. Or we could have played the Molten here so that even Corn of Cold cannot kill us. Um, uh, and that was a little bit stupid because um, 
player. Okay, now we have an owl. So now we can play it more aggressively because now we don't have to take care of the doom stuff. Uh, which means we could have dealt 8 more damage again. Hmm, stupid. Um, Healboard, Healboard, Attack Dark Bomb, L Schaden 19, 13, 16, then we can kill him. Yeah, now I would perhaps like to play Healboard. I think it's time. Why I change my mind? Yeah, because we are not playing optimally at the moment. But yeah, okay, so now we have deployed what? 16 damage this turn. So the idea is if he plays a Lex Truster, we can like steal the secret and kill him. And let's see that. L14, 16. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the gameplay at the moment is not very good. I'm also already... Yeah. can silence, let's say this, should be tapped then, yeah just in case the legs comes down, should probably tap. Yeah, I don't know whether we can take another discount. Hmm. What was it? No. Ah. I'm also not sure how safe you are at 23. Perhaps you should just steal very soon, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Can we now not even handle the Doomsayer or what is it? Yeah, Doomsayer freeze, we cannot handle it. Yeah. Tapping was correct because we don't even have a demon for this. Um, no, please not the Doomsayer, come on. Don't give me that crack. No. Okay. I guess he couldn't kill us last turn, so probably he won't be able to kill us next turn. So we should just play, continue playing our strats. Right? It's unlikely that if he couldn't kill us last turn, that he can kill us next turn. Um, without having drawn any new cards. So what is it? He can Blizzard, so now he can Frost Nova us, or what? Um, And we could do the giant and steal this, but if we do so, he can just replay it. If we are at 23, we should be good, right? So, we should do this, and because we were good last turn, we can assume that we are also good next turn. I think so. Um, uh, 
Aha. Okay. So I guess he sets up. And well, who? Hmm. He can probably not proc the block and um, and play the secret again. Uh, probably not. Um, at least it is very unlikely, right? Frostbolt, Frostbolt, Lens, Lens, Fireball, um, and also replaying, it's rather unlikely. Yeah, the idea is usually that this is in our hand, and then, but yeah, it's in this case it was, it's not in our hand. So that's of course a little bit suboptimal. Mm. Yeah, this is 7, 10, 13. Yeah, that's enough for sure if there is not. First of all, he needs the block, and second of all, we can probably also proc it because our board is full, as you can see. Um, he would need to proc the block, and um, not only that, but he would need to proc the block and to inflict lethal at the same time. On the other hand, we have lethal if. Yeah, you see it right. Yeah, very bad gameplay. <laughs> very, very bad gameplay. Yeah, don't don't get me on that one. As I said, like yeah, whatever. I guess we don't take the anti-freeze warrior against him, right? I mean, it's like, do we like will he will he Q again? Like there's literally no nearly no way that he will Q again against us, right? I mean, with with us having the ice block stuff, uh, he doesn't like that. I think so. I mean, he, he probably doesn't like to play against Handlock, nor does he like to play against Handlock with his secret. So I guess, he, I guess, like, yeah, no way that he queues again. Yeah, boy, don't get me on that. That was a horrible game. <laughs> but we won it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cats are out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is like exactly, yeah. The Kazan came out of nowhere, guys. Yeah, Kazan the dream. Bam fling! Bam fling! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, um, this is exactly what just happened. Okay, uh, Dr. Boom is way too slow, and the keyboard is later. Mountain Giant, yeah, against Paladin. Good, jo good joke, but Hellfire we keep. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there are matchups where we would like to get <laughs> the Kazan out of nowhere against Free Smash, yeah. That's pretty good, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> a, a, a random Kazan appears, yeah. Okay. We have Molten, Molten, Torn, that's a start, I would say. Or oh, actually, it's probably good. Uh, it could eventually be good. Molten, Molten, Torn. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. There are things which are good, there are things which are bad. What you just see is bad because he also doesn't seem to be Secret Paladin. Obviously, Molten Molten Taunt is stronger against Secret Paladin than against the normal one because the normal one can handle with it, the Secret Paladin cannot handle with it. Um, I'm not even sure whether we should play the Sun Fury Protector, to be honest. Um, I think it's too valuable. Perhaps you want to tap into coin. I'm not kidding. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, the moves, guys. The moves. Yeah, this in the hand is stronger than on the board if we also have double molten and if we also have the plan to play Hellfire next turn. And you can bet that we will Hellfire here. It's not that great, but we have double Hellfire. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so it's a Hellfire instead of six value, we get seven value. It's not bad. Um, against Paladin usually we expect 7 value, but on the other hand we also have double Hellfire here. Uh, keep in mind that uh, if you play this and the random Quartermaster appears who, then then uh, not good for us. They're not really good for us. 
Um, also keep in mind that if you play once Hellfire, you will probably not play around the second Hellfire, so that's another small merit. Keep also in mind that the Mountain Giant is not mana efficient at the very moment, but the GB will probably also not be mana efficient next turn. If you play him now, what can we expect? Let's say he plays a Sludge Belcher. We will also wound our m m Mountain Giant by the Hellfire, so I actually like to play the Hellfire here. Um, it just makes sense. And next time we can even think about playing Mountain and, uh, and even like, let's say, something like this. So let's see uh, what this now means uh, for us um, regarding the other Hellfire. So um, the Hellfire has a value of 5.5, like 2.5357 again. So it's not bad, but it gets worse because we are now at one more mana. Also now it's really our last Hellfire. Also we have synergetic effects with the Void Caller. So if you play the Void Caller, we can actually deploy a much better Hellfire. Um, yeah. Full stop. I mean, there's not much to be said about it. Like, if, if you play the World Color, we can deploy a much better Hellfire. A much, much better Hellfire. So, we should really consider it. Uh, if he takes the damage on the face, we can play Double Molten. He needs a quality then. As I said, we should not worry too much, I think. I mean, I'm worried because I don't want to, like, lose with uh, such a nice hand in the. like, with such possibilities. But Mountain Giant, I mean, against Paladin, usually. Um, they can get uh, Keeper of Uldermand, um, they can get Equality and so on and Peacekeeper, so they are not even that strong. Right. I mean, the thing is we can Hellfire and Double Molten Giant and Taunt and he doesn't have Equality usually. So that's actually pretty good. If he attacks only with that, that's really great because then we can just. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys. Yeah, okay. This is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, we can Hellfire, Double Molten, and Taunt. The question is um, what is with the other stuff? It's really. We should first Hellfire right now. What? What was first? What was first? This verse first, right? So this gets up again, right? If you now do the Hellfire thing. Um, and then the 2-1 will stand up, but this will get the buff. On the other hand, if you attack first, um, if one of those gets the buff, that's uglier. So the 3-1 stays up again, right? Or was it like this? Okay. Oh, what, what? oh yeah, and the Chaga comes out, sure. And then we play double Molten, like depending on the first, my Garnus comes out, then we even have it better. And then we just play this. Uh, what? Oh, seriously? Um, oh, we could have, well, <laughs> this is Taunt anyways. Mm, we could have not taunted the Molten. <laughs> Shit. Nah. It was too fast. That was very stupid to turn the Molten. No, no, actually not. Like, of course, he clears this anyways, so he clears this and then he would have cleared this anyways. And it's, it basically doesn't matter, I would nearly say. No, I think it basically doesn't matter. The Repentance, yeah. Could have you played around Repentance? Not really. Uh, redemption, uh, repentance, not really. He got it all. The keep of Ulderman, the repentance. Mm. So this is seven damage. We lose even such a game. Yeah. Um. Yeah, whatever. I mean, usually we will win this, but in this case, probably we just lose this. Um, how it feels? Super shitty. Like, how how can this be like ever good? Like, nah. 
No, please explain me how this can be like. Did I do something wrong or something? Hmm. We have to come back somewhat. I don't know. We can just play this because, like, if he has one more damage, we die. But, uh, I mean, like, uh, yeah, it's unlikely. Hmm. Well, yes, one damage is okay. Yeah, we could have also played a healbot, but if we healbot and he just attacks our face and uh, nothing is won, we also have to play something to stabilize. And what uh, was there something we could have done? Like anything against the... Um, The Hellfire was clear, the question is how we deploy it. So we could have also attacked first, but then if something of the other guys get the buff, then the other guys would have not died. So that would have actually not been good. It would have actually been pretty bad. So we could have not played that. Molten is a consideration, but usually not. Yeah, sometimes they race you, but yeah. Um, Na, yeah, Kazan is not doing much here. Um, ja, also, ja, ziemlich cool das Game, ja. Macht richtig Spaß so. Ja. Um, no. Ja. Ja, so macht das dann richtig Spaß. Ja. Yeah, it's good. Also, uh, the thing was, um, the thing was like, if Jeraxus comes into play, what we can do is we can first play the Taunt. We can first play the Taunt and then we can play the Molten Giant, if Jeraxus comes into play, but not if Myganus comes into play. And the question, there was another question actually attached. So, uh, the other question uh, we actually had uh, was basically um, whether we want to um, not attack with the warrior demon caller. We could have also let the void call, demon caller stay at home, not proking the, not proking the thing. And the thing uh, basically being the plus one plus. One. This is some brissy more guys. Um, ah, now we cannot kill the one, but we can still kill the other. Um, so. Now, yeah, what I'm saying is, huh? <laughs> tricky guys, tricky. Yeah, the Death Lords don't want to die, but uh, uh, I have bad news for him. I have bad news for him. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Very bad news. Very, very bad news. So we attack Dark Worm and Model Coil that one, right? We could also take this and double Model Coil, but we cannot play anything anyway, so we just do this. And this is also the 412 with spell damage, so uh, yeah, you can bet that we kill this. And we get a Watcher. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, yeah, then tap me. Yeah, it, yeah, it could be better. <laughs> but yeah, on the other hand, like we just smashed eight damage on the Death Lord, and we got basically this for free. So I'm not the one who complains here. <clears throat> and as you can see, he's really trying to raise us. So that was why I said, well, perhaps we should keep the the molten. But yeah, no, <laughs> the answer is no. Um, we play this and we can model call this in a very nice fashion. Also, we can activate the Ancient Watcher in the best fashion. 9 damage, 10 damage, 8 damage. And we get... Dr. Boom! Now we are talking. 
Okay, now in the other game we could have not attacked with a Void Caller. So that would have been one possibility, but how do you want to play it then? If we actually only turn this guy up, he clears it and there's Jaraxxus, we simply die immediately. So, um, I guess we played it fine, I guess. Like, yeah, and that's probably the reason why you play Repentance. Yeah. You have to burn! The giant is so doing so much work. The giant killed everything. Did you see it? And now he got the <laughs> Shadow of Death a little bit late. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. We draw, we play. Yeah, cool. We are at 15. We don't have demons. Now we have demons. Mm, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 10. Yeah, we can use the Perifer Super Trick. Um, no heal bots as long as there were no giants. Uh, I would just play the owl on this guy. Just to get like the things going. Um, perhaps even playing the Twilight Dragon over the Void Caller. Uh, just because it's a 410. On the other hand, if he plays in two mod it, uh, <laughs> we are more happy if he gets a Void Caller. Okay, no, but seriously, yeah, we can just play the dragon. I don't see why we should not play the dragon. The dragon is also more damage, uh, more damage de deal. Uh, but the Void Caller is really nice too. Uh, let's do the more damage deal and this and this. You want to activate our stuff on the board and it all has big health points, lower attack. Uh, this, did I say something <laughs> about this? Uh, speaking of the devil. But yeah, okay, so we just... I would even go as far to just play these two because, I mean, what what are we like, I mean, we can just play all our stuff, like, why well, it can never die, right? There is only, like, so much circle of healing option with um, Okanai, um, but then this comes and this survives, this survives. Um, if you place Light Bomb, we are, <laughs> our minions are all very, very solid against Light Bombs. And we just want to deploy the damage on the board at the moment, it's like 15 every turn. Um, yeah, that we win against Priest, that's not a surprise. Mm. Yeah, against the Paladin, that was a little bit sad. I think we played it accordingly. We played the one Hellfire, also in a nice fashion. We then played the Void Caller, which actually enabled us to get this Jaraxxus, and otherwise we would have not gotten, gotten anything. So I think we played it in a in a very well way, but it just didn't work out. Uh, 16, 12, 15, uh, simply lethal. Um, very much. Sombrissimo! Okay. Yeah, I doubt that we will queue again. Yeah, the thing is the Christmas tree was not even with five secrets because he had master in hand, so like the plus one plus one in hand. What we are aiming? No, we want to get top 100 here and then we have a free run in A. I mean aiming, aiming is... Yeah, we will probably stop at some point, but I mean as you can see at the moment we are 750, so... Uh, aiming for top 10 would be a little bit, let's say, yeah. Um, Yeah, we keep Mystic. I mean, why not, right? Or do we even? Hmm. It's interesting, right, actually. Do we even keep the Mystic against Paladin? Yeah, just to, just to punish them. Okay, um... Taunted my guns to eat Repentance and we have two uh, full 888s. Yeah, but there is no repentance if he only gets four secrets. What are you talking about? <laughs> and this is one th thing, and the other one is you simply die. Yeah, 
we are just dead on board here. Yeah. That's not really useful. Molten Sun Fury is good against Secret Paladin. Kazan is good against Secret Paladin. If it's not Secret Paladin, this is not very useful. I think even if it's Secret Paladin, this is not insanely strong. Um, but definitely good use. I mean, a secret, I don't know what you value a secret, perhaps 1.5, so this is like 3.5 plus 1.5 is 5, and we take away a secret. But he knows what secret it is. So, I think against Secret Paladin it's definitely plus EV, but the question is how many Secret Paladins there are, and, but usually Paladin means Secret Paladin, so I think we are good to go if we just keep it. And it, Perhaps, like, if it's no Secret Paladin, we can just play all the other stuff, but this look suspiciously uh, like Secret Paladin. We have Molten into some Fury, we have also Void Call, we have also Twilight Drakes, so we have kind of possibilities a lot. So what happened? Secret and what? Silver and Recruit and Secret, that's what we want to see. And uh, what do we do? We can steal the secret, but do we even want to do that? Oh, we want to get white colors on the board if I see what's happening here. Uh, okay, we have Molten Taunt, we have Molten Taunt, we have Molten Taunt, we have Molten Taunt, and we have the Dragon. Okay. Molten Taunt and the Dragon, but the Dragon at the moment is not doing much. And these are actually uh, very awesome, right? Or not? One gets this, which is winning. One gets this, which is insane. Um, if this is repentance, uh, like should not be bad. They are also fighting better on board, right? Oh, this is better. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Well, it's definitely not this. This is the weakest. This is definitely better than this, for sure. Must be. Must be with these two demons. With these three demons in the hand, this must be better than this. And the only question with these three demons in the hand, is this better than this? And I would say not at the very moment, because at the very moment those all have still low, low attack strengths. So, low, 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 uh, low attack strengths, yes. The low uh, uh, defense strengths, I mean. Low defense strength, so we can actually clear everything anyways. <gasps> Double Molten and Taunt, are you kidding me? Hey, this is so insanely sick. This is so insanely sick. Like, this is so insanely sick. You see that too, right? Double Molten Taunt? Double, uh, like... Double Void Collar, Double Demon, Mega Super Altar Demon. Double Molten, Sun Fury and Taunt, Kazan, Drake. Like, um, like Wishing Concierto. Perhaps we should even do this. But we can also just play the 4 8. I'm very. But if we play it, we need to attack it. So perhaps we could just play the Mystic. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. This is complicated. But we can play the dragon with tap next turn, so let's play the mystic here. No, but sec, cool. Let me just kill this. Pling! Give us the secret! Yeah, it, it's good because next time we can play a bigger dragon. That was the idea.
Okay, the dragon actually never saw any application. You definitely tap. Why? Well, because two life against a card is usually good. Then we just play double molten and taunt and it should be good. Uh, oh, we can also check what we get first or what. No, we tap first. Yeah, this is why we do it. So, um, no wait, now we can... Uh, no, we want to get we want to get the demon, right? Yeah, I guess so. We could also get it 4-1 and then we still have it as a 4-1, but... Okay, guys, this time it will work, right? This time it will work. Boom! 9-9 taunt, 9-9 taunt, 9-7 ultra taunt. But he cannot attack it. So, yeah, the only thing would be now equality. Like, if you now place equality, like, yeah, 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 then I'm out of here again. So, uh, 9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-
that's the other question. So we can actually deploy the end end watcher. <laughs> and um, if we do that, we can actually play the white color. Okay. If you do this. I mean, Jaraxxus is a very strong demon. That is a very, very strong demon. But usually I tend to tap here because we can still play like first Void Caller and we can still play Watcher and Taunt within one turn usually. So I tend to usually tap here. Just also because of occurrences like a Mountain Giant who can come. Um, well, we will first play the Void Caller because it also goes against this curve. Um, yeah. So first there will be the Void Caller because the Void Caller also uh, combats his curve. Um, if he wants to silence it, he's off curve and we can tap into Mountain Giant anyways then. Uh, so I would like to just deploy the Void Caller here. Uh, if he attacks us with the dragon, yeah, hmm. yeah, that's a little bit... If you play the Mountain Giant, chances are that... It's, uh, do you really think he will attack? The Void Caller with the Dragon. And if he does, he forfeit 4 damage into phase. Well, okay, we have more Molten Sign, that would not be such an issue, but whatever. So, what would be ugly would be Silence and Attack. Then he has a 4-1. That would be really ugly, actually. <laughs> that would be really bad for us, to be honest. So, perhaps he should just play this. On the other hand, this is really good on the board, if he doesn't have Silence. Ah, but probably, yeah. Probably that's a play, I guess. Keep in mind that if he does have BGH, he will be able to out tempo us badly. But I mean, if he plays BGH, perhaps he only shape shifts. So perhaps it's not that bad. Hmm. If he didn't have the silence till now, now he will definitely have the silence, I guess. Hmm. No, I was not sure. It was not that clear. 9, 15... Yeah. He didn't have uh, BGH before and that he draws BGH is like in 3 cards is uh, yeah 15% so that should be fine. And yeah. He's doing weird stuff. Um, can we get your axles? How do we get your axles? Do we even taunt? Oh man. Um, taunt Angriff, das ist nicht gut. Okay, so we want to attack. Get Jaraxxus Dark Bomb. We could also. No, 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 no. So we protect the 8-3, we taunt the 3-15 and we taunt the 8-8. We still have taunt, taunt, taunt in our hand and we also have the Watcher. We tapped to get deeper and, and stay mana efficient. One mana for the Giant is really good. He didn't have BGH before, so he will still not have BGH. He didn't have BGH one, uh, one card ago, so this is a genuine. And uh, the, wa uh, the, the Watcher, we could have also deployed the Watcher instead, but that would have not stayed mana efficient. Okay, he silences. This doesn't matter, because we can just turn it up right away again. So that's actually pretty good for us. Can he also silence the other one? Oh, that was oh nine! Really?
And now for double swipe or what? Oh, okay, 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 good. Um, I don't know whether we need it, but let's see. Attack, attack, keyboard and taunt. That's really extremely safe. We don't think that we will lose this here, right? Or do we? Well, I don't think so. He cannot even, well, uh, uh, yeah. He still doesn't have BGH. Is the healbot spewy? That's a question. Can we not do it without healbot? Oh no, but then he can double swipe. Uh, it's extremely like we we simply win here, right? If we like What I'm saying is this is a safe win, right? I mean, this is 18 and he has 4, uh, 6, uh, 20 damage, but this is a safe win, right? I mean, we have the absolute board control, he doesn't have BGH, we have him low. So if you play the heal board, usually I don't like to play the heal board because it throws us behind in tempo, but this is a safe win, right? I mean, like, it's simply a safe win, right? I mean, even if he draws BGH, he cannot silence this, so it's still a safe win. And we just produce, yeah, taunt on two and taunt on two. I concede to you, sick. Oh, oh very good, guys. Very good. Did you see how the might actually punished him? He went face. I don't know why. Like suddenly we are at 13 and suddenly we are molten giant range. He just gives us molten giants for free. So what, what happened actually? What happened? How, how could it happen? So our start, the first three turns was rubbish, his start was nice, white cross, but then we actually uh, could deploy the giant and the giant was really fat because 4 mana 8-8, eight, eight, that's the big might. Yeah, 4 mana 8-8, eight, eight, I mean you won't complain about 4 mana 8-8, eight, eight, especially if you cannot handle the 4 mana 8-8, eight, eight. it's better than FA Reaver without drawback. Um, he plays uh, Dragon. Dragon is actually a little bit slow, right? So it's a little bit slow here. He plays uh, Instinct of Lore. We correctly go face Palm! And we play Demon Caller. And the Caller gives us a 350. Uh, but we come to this. So he plays also something. Oh, Saurus and really good deployer. Uh, everything into face. And now it comes. The big turn. Uh, we attack with a 3 4 in the Dragon. This is standard, but oh, 315 out of nowhere instead of 3 3 or what? Yeah, instead of 3 I don't know, whatever. 3 4 so I, uh, I don't know what you expect, but 15 heads is a pretty big number, especially because, like, you could say, oh, 15 heads plays like 8 heads or something, but it doesn't. No, we, we use the heads. We use 5 heads on the guy, and then later we also had the tongue with 10 heads. Really big business. Really big business. Okay, so, um,. But I don't think we should have. Uh, we would have lost, by the way. Like uh, we would have only lost against Double Swipe, but whatever. So um, uh, what came out? Something big came out. Something big came. Out. Yeah, Jaraxxus came out. Every model called the Dragon. No spell power available. The eight that actually hits the five five, but it doesn't matter because we actually hide it behind Torn. We play Molten Giant for one mana. Actually, we play for three mana, and we get as a collateral draw a card. Three mana at eight. Another of these fairy rivers without any drawback, and then we torn up. Bam and bam. 8-8 eight, eight taunt is so insanely much better than without taunt and we taunted up the 315, did you see that? Ha <laughs> ha, 315. And what he needed to do is he needed to silence it and silence the other one too. So expensive. And what we just did is we played keyboard and bam, taunt again. Both being taunted again. Yeah, I, I know you saw what happened but I'm just like, oh, that was so good. That was so good. Guys, that was so good. And then, yeah, and then GG. Yeah. And I think it was right to play the healbot because I don't think like after we like after what happened, I don't think that we we would lose this otherwise. Shaman, no, no, no. We have probably twenty percent against Shaman. Um, here, here, I would, against Shaman, I would probably keep Watcher out. Uh, probably, but no, I mean, hey, for we need the dragon and, and just get rid of the other cards. And we just need dragon heal bots.
stuff like this. Yo, oh, that's not bad. Um, I, it's not bad actually, really not. Like this is immune, which means seven health. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. And that's actually good for us, by the way. That's actually good for us that he doesn't play another beat down. Yeah, we, we tap for sure. Oh, I mean, we have four, uh, three drop in the four drop. It's not bad. Like, as long as he stays low, if he draw a heal board. He played the demon, right, first. Yeah, because the Drake can get Earth Shock. If the Drake would get Earth Shock, it would be fatal. It would be fatal. From the void, I, come, I keep also in mind that you wanted the dice at some point. So actually, uh, we like also to play it. And keep also in mind that this definitely wants to attack this anyway. So yeah, we are taking a lot of damage. Moldens? No, Moldens. Moldens are overrated. We could play a Molten for 3 mana if you do this attack. If we are completely silly, we would do so. As I said, we really want to get this ma Ah! Now we cannot get Malganus. There are no attacks. There are no attacks which actually would give us Malganus, unfortunately. But! We can try to get Malganus and then we don't eat the 2 damage. Well, that would be actually something. Oh, oh how does it work? Which one triggers first? Ah, this one triggers first. Hey, uh, it's also... Uh, Oh, does it? Which one was first? I forgot which one was first. Um, Molten for zero. Everything good. So which one was first? I mean, we cannot influence it anyways. We, we, we need to kill this anyways with this. So um, we cannot do like... Uh, what could we do? We cannot do this and then my guns comes and we, then we do this. We also need to kill this, right? So it's... Um, or is it like this? Or let's say what do we want to play, like let's say what we want to play, we want to play this. No, we can actually tap if we get my guns or what. Uh, tap, 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 tap is nonsense, right? Well, this is 4 damage. Perhaps tap is not really nonsense. But then we have to play this first. Um, actually tapping is good. Yeah, that's very well played. 50 freaking 50. 50 freaking 50. 50 freaking 50. And if not, we simply win, guys. We just win. 860, 19. 860, 19. No, 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 not 19. Plus 6. Uh, 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 25. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. But we already have it. We already have it. We already got it. Yeah. You want it? We got it. 